Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Wendy. I'm going to be bringing you a blood DPS tank build. This is what I'm going to be running in Wrath of the Lich King. This is what I've been running currently and it's worked perfectly for me. Now going right into it, subversion is the one you're going to want to get into. This increases crit strike chance of blood strike, scourge strike, hard strike, and obliterate by 9%. Reduces threat generated while in blood or unholy presence by 25%. But that's okay. A lot of the threat that you're going to be generating is going to surpass anybody else. They're not going to be able to catch up to you, but you want the crit chance for blood strike and heart strike because those are your two main abilities that you're going to be spamming on top of rune strike. You want to go five five blade barrier. Whenever your blood runes are on cooldown, you gain a blood barrier effect. You know, this decreases damage taken by 5% for the next 10 seconds. So, you know, that you're tanking, you're going to want that, you know, damage reduced and you're going to want to be able to survive longer. As for two handed specialization, I go two two. This increases damage dealt with two handers by 4%. I am currently using a Titan Steel Destroyer. I will want to go and rotate into Inevitable Defeat if it does drop, but you know, the chances are, you know, it will. If all your melee and everybody, your physical are getting their two-handers, this is definitely something you want because you can get one of those major two-handers as well. I'm only going one of three on Scent of Blood. This one, 50% chance after dodging, parrying, or taking direct damage to gain a Scent of Blood. Cause your next melee to hit, generate 10 runic power. Let me in. That's what you want. You want to be able to just keep doing damage, keep doing damage, and as long as you can, get as much threat as possible. As for bladed armor, I went 5 of 5. Increases your attack power by 5 for every 180 armor value you have. Again, as much armor as you have, you want to do instructable pots, instructable potions right before the pull. You'll pop it before pull. It'll start winding down. Then you'll pop it again mid-fight. This gives you about 100 extra attack power when you're you know, fighting, and this is definitely something you're going to want to look into. Rune tap, one of one, of course, kind of speaks for itself. Converts one blood rune into 10% of your maximum health. Say you're getting low, you're popping coolies. This is what you want. This one works again right into improved rune tap. Increases the health provided by rune tap by 100% and lowers the cooldown by 30. If you need it, you're going to be spamming it. If not, no worries. But this just gives you that extra buff that you might need. I went 5 of 5 with dark conviction. Increases your chance to critically hit with weapons, spells, and abilities by 5%. Again, you're going to want all the threat you can do. You're also going to want to contribute. When you're, you know, DPSing, you don't want to just be the tank. You don't want to just be standing there hitting, you know, hundreds, hundreds. You want to be able to boom, crit, 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 and just, you know, as much threat as you're blowing up, everyone else can pump as hard as they want. I also went three of three on Death Rune Mastery. This is whenever you hit a Death Strike or Obliterate, there's a 100% chance that the Frost or Unholy Runes become Death Rune. This giving you one every time is perfect. Spell Deflection. I went three of three. Uh, you have a chance equal to your parry chance of taking 45% less damage from a direct damage spell. Again, you're tanking. You want to take as less damage as you can, but you also want to put out as much damage as you can. Veteran of the Third War, also 3 of 3, increases your total strength by 6%, stamina by 3%, expertise by 6. I mean, your strength, your stam, expertise is all you want as a blood DK, so works perfectly for you. Now, since I do have 5 of 5 of Dark Convection, I actually get 3 of 3 of Bloody Vengeance. It gives you a 3% bonus to physical damage you deal for 30 seconds after dealing a critical strike. From a weapon swing, spell, or ability, this effect stacks up to three times. Again, you're swinging, you're hitting your abilities, you know. I wouldn't really say you're casting spells, but definitely swings, your abilities, you're popping. This definitely procs all the time when you're tanking, so this is definitely one you're going to want to get. Moving over, Abominations Might increases the attack power by 10% of the party, and raid members within 100 yards also increases your total strength by 2%. Again, you want that strength, and you know, if you're buffing everybody else, like I said, if you're pumping as hard as you can, they can pump as hard as they can, and it just everything benefits. And I went one of one in Unholy Frenzy. You know, this induces a friendly unit into a killing frenzy for 30 seconds. Target is in rage, you know, increases their physical damage by 20%. I use this usually on my warrior. You know, he pumps, it's just physical damage. So he's pumping, pumping, pumping. I think it's best to use it on warriors. If you don't have a warrior, maybe use it on another DK that might not have popped, or, you know, you could even throw it on a paladin. Just someone who's doing physical damage. Moving down further, I have improved death strike. Like I said, you're hitting death strike, you're hitting rune strike, you're, you know, heart strike, you're hitting all these abilities. This one increases damage by your death strike by 30%, increases the crit chance also by 6%, and increases healing granted by 50%. So you're hitting, you know, putting your diseases up, you hit this, you're getting health back as you're critting and doing more damage. Moving over, one of one of vampiric blood temporarily grants death knight 15% of maximum health. This is definitely a cooldown. You want this, you know, your low health, you know, you're getting chunked. Pop this, you know, pop all your coolies. This one gives you 15% more health. So say I'm sitting at 42K. Usually it bumps me up to 47, maybe 48K health while I'm tanking. Perfect for patchwork when, you know, you're getting, maybe someone died, you're getting a little low. Pop this, you're good. 
I went three of three in Will of the Necropolis. Damage that you would take below 35% or taken while at 35% health is reduced by 15%. Say you're at 35%, you know, you're getting chunked at 35% or below it. You're taking 15% less damage, which again, helps your healers, helps the raid, keeps you guys alive. I also have three of three in Might of Mograine. This increases critical strike damage bonus of your blood boil, blood strike, death strike, and heart strike abilities by 45%. Everything I've said so far, this is definitely what you want. Your blood boiling, your blood striking, death striking, heart striking. These are your abilities. You're getting all your threat generated from here. You're hitting crits, you're hitting all of it, and you're just, you know, rocking out the whole raid. Moving on from Might, this one. Hard strike, one of one. Instantly strike the target and the nearest ally causing 50% weapon damage plus on the primary target and 25% plus on the secondary target. This is perfect. Say you have ads coming at you, hard strike a couple times, you know, you have that trash pack with you. But this is also perfect for when you're fighting the boss. This one definitely pumping, pumping, pumping. It, it's crazy for threat generation. On top of you using icy touch, this is definitely one you're going to be spamming the whole fight. And then finally, I have Dancing Rune Weapon. So it's a second rune weapon that fights on its own for 12 seconds. Doing the same attack as Death Knight, but for 50% reduced damage. If you're critting, if you're pumping, and you have this out, you're doing double that damage. You know, this is just, again, Threat City. You're, double, you're basically double hitting the boss. You crit, 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 crit over and over and over again. You're definitely going to have all that threat, and you're definitely going to be doing a ton of damage. Moving over into Frost, I have improved Icy Touch. Again, you're the tank. You want your Icy Touch to definitely be up right away. This one, your Icy Touch does an additional 15% damage, and your Frost Fever reduces melee and range attack speed by an additional 6%. This, again, slows down the boss just a little bit, but you're also, this is where you're getting your threat. Your Snap Threat, you pop Icy Touch a couple times, you're getting it right away. There's no chance that anybody's beating you. This is what you're going to want to use. And moving down, I have Icy Talons. You know, this one slows the attack speed of the boss or maybe the mobs you're fighting, but also increases yours by 20% for the next 20 seconds. Again, you're hitting this, you're hitting Icy Touch, your Icy Talons is popping, and you know, you're just pumping throughout the whole fight. Back up top, I have Toughness, increases your armor value from items by 10% and reduces the duration of all movement slowing effects by 30%. Again, you shouldn't need for the slows, you're not really getting, you know, slowed by bosses unless you're running away from them for some reason but armor value by 10 percent you're the tank you're getting crushed you're getting hit this is what you want moving down i have black ice i only went two of five just so i can get into this next one after after this but this increases your frost and shadow damage by four percent again your frost damage you're gonna need it you want your icy touch up right away say you crit twice in a row you have all the threat there's no no issues you will have never have threat issues if you're getting them right away pump for the raid everyone else can pump you know you have Boomy's pumping, you have Paladins, Death Knights, you know, everybody across the board can 99 parse. And then finally, I have Endless Winter 2 of 2. Your strength is increased by 4% and your Mind Freeze no longer costs Runic Power. If you have to be the Interrupter, if you have to interrupt anything, you know, Mind Freeze, instant interrupt, you don't have to worry about it anymore. This also increases your strength, like I said, more damage output, more threat, raid pumps, golden. Now that's it for the talents, you know, there are some talents that you can go... This is definitely, definitely a damaged tank set. This one, you know, it doesn't have frigid death plate. This one reduces chance of melee attacks. It will hit you by 1%. Some people run that. This one, I just don't. Also, anticipation increases your dodge chant by 1%. Again, you might see tanks that run this. I personally don't. I'm in a, a pumper group that allows me to do this. The healers are pumpers. So, you know, you don't really have to. I don't really have to worry too much about it, but... If you are having issues, I would say get you know, no dancing rune weapon, maybe no hard strike. Go into frigid death plate, go into anticipation, maybe it'll save you. Now, just quickly moving on to the glyphs, I have glyph of rune strike. This increases the crit chance of your rune strike by 10%. You're gonna be spamming rune strike on cooldown every time it pops up, spam it, hit it. This is gonna be one of your main abilities, so definitely want that 10% extra when it comes to crit. Moving on, I have glyph of the dancing rune weapon. This makes it so your dancing room weapon is increased the duration that it's out by five seconds. You know, if it's out longer, it's more DPS, it's more pump, you know, more threat. Definitely want that. And then Glyph of Disease. Your Pestilence ability now refreshes disease durations and secondary effects durations on your primary target back to their maximum duration. This is definitely what you want. You know, you have all those on the boss. You don't want to have to hit two extra buttons to put the diseases back up. Hit this one button, hit Pestilence once, it's back up. They're back all the way up. Moving into the minor glyphs, I have Glyph of Blood Tap. Your Blood Tap no longer causes damage to you. This is, again, perfect. 
you're going to want to throw that on if you're, you know, getting beat up, you know, you need to pop your coolies. Blood tap, you take no damage from it. Moving over, I have Glyph of Pestilence. Again, increases the radius of your Pestilence effect by five yards. You know, increases it for you. Again, you're with the disease, you're popping this, and it coolies popping back on the boss, you're golden. Moving over, finally, Glyph of Raised Dead. Raised Dead spell no longer requires a reagent. So, you know, say you have to bring someone up during a raid, someone, someone during the fight. This, you don't need the reagent anymore. Pop them, get them up, you're good. All right, guys. Well, that's my talent tree for blood tank DPS guide. You know, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll leave a link to this talent tree in the description. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.